Hi everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs. In this video, I'm going to talk about battery secrets of the Panasonic GH6 camera. The GH6 has so many features and so much capability, it's really quite astonishing. But one of the things a lot of people don't quite understand about it is the battery situation. Now the GH6 comes with a GH6 battery. It's been redesigned for this camera. But you can also use a battery from your older cameras. This is a battery from a Panasonic GH5. It will go into the GH6 and it will work, but it won't do everything that the GH6 can do. It's limited. Let me show you some of the ways that it's limited. This is the GH6 battery and this is the GH5 battery. Obviously there's some differences you can see right away. To start with, the GH6 battery has these four terminals on top and that's pretty intriguing. Otherwise, the two batteries have the same four terminals on the back side of the battery. They have different ratings too. The GH6 battery is rated at 16 watt hours. The GH5 battery is rated at 14 watt hours. In other words, the GH6 battery can deliver a little more power for a little longer period of time. Also, the GH6 battery has this ridge, this rib or a valley on the side of it that the GH5 battery does not have. Looking at the video quality menu on the GH6 using the GH6's original battery, there are a huge number of choices to be made among the various video quality settings. Only a couple of them are grayed out. There's just a massive selection of choices. But when you insert a GH5 battery, and it inserts just fine, and turn it on, you get this message. Once you go into the menu and begin to check your video quality options, you'll see that lots of them are grayed out. You cannot get to lots of the video quality settings, and obviously you can't record at that quality if that setting is grayed out. Inside the battery well is a small button that can be pushed in. Here's what happens when you slide the GH6's battery into the battery well. There's the ridge on the side of the battery, and because the battery has the ridge, it does not press on that button. And that's how the camera knows that a GH6 battery is inside. The GH5 battery has no ridge, so when you slide it in, it presses the button back in, and now the camera knows that a battery other than a GH6 battery is inside. I mentioned the four contacts earlier, and they're set into this indentation. Just to the side of that indentation is this rectangle that looks like it could be an opening or a hole of some sort. It's neither of those things. It's actually just shiny, smooth plastic. What the purpose of that is, I don't know. It is not a contact. It's just shiny, smooth plastic that's flush with the rest of this surface of the battery. Remember the four contacts on the GH6's battery? Well, if you look in the battery well of the camera, there are no terminals inside the battery well to connect to those contacts. So why we have those contacts on the battery, well, that's just one of the secrets of the GH6's battery. There are power supplies that you can get that allow you to run the camera indefinitely. This is the dummy battery for one of those power supplies. Notice that it has the ridge and the four contacts that the actual GH6 battery have. You plug this into the GH6, and then you connect it to the power supply, which you then plug into a wall socket, and you can run the camera as long as you need to run it. That's what I know about the battery secrets for the Panasonic GH6 camera. Maybe that'll help you figure out some things you need to do with your GH6. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.